In the Russian fighter family, the Su-35, as a fourth-generation improved heavy-duty fighter, is already the most mature and capable. However, at the end of 2021 and early 2022, this super flanker encountered an unprecedented wave of slow sales. Indonesia has returned goods, Egypt is about to return goods, and Algeria is on the way to return goods. The sales prospects are unprecedentedly severe. As a deeply improved version of the famous Su-27 flanker air superiority fighter, the Su-35 has so far been the main customers of Russia and China. Among them, the Russian Aerospace Forces purchased a total of more than 100 Su-35, while China ordered just 24. As a big country, China bought the Su-35 as the first international user, obviously a live advertisement for Sukhoi. In 2018, the Su-35 welcomed two new customers. In February, Indonesia and Russia signed a sales contract for 11 Su-35. But now Indonesia has cancelled the contract. The reason is that the countering America's adversaries through sanctions act signed by Trump in January 2018 came into effect. This law sanctioned any state entity that tried to buy Russian weapons. At the end of December 2021, Indonesian Air Force Chief of Staff Fazer Plasicio said in a statement, It is with a heavy heart that we have to announce the cancellation of the plan to purchase Su-35 fighter jets. This means they officially gave up the purchase of Su-35. It is said that they intend to choose one between the French Dassault Rafale and the American F-15 Advanced Eagle fighter. In the same year in 2018, Egypt also signed a contract for 24 Su-35 at a cost of about $2 billion. 17 of these Su-35 have been produced so far, but they have been left at the Komsomolsk factory and have not been delivered. Photos taken at the end of December 2021 show that the Egyptian Air Force nationality identification mark on its fuselage has been painted off, and it is said that it may be returned or resell it to Iran, and the latest news after New Year's Day is that in addition to Egypt, Algeria, which originally intended to buy, is also withdrawing. In addition to political and diplomatic reasons, the technical shortcomings of the Su-35 have to be ignored. Due to the fact that the Russian radar industry eats all the money, the Su-35 still uses the Snow Leopardi airborne fire control radar of the passive faced array, which has a generation difference with the current Bad Street AESA radar, the R-77 Advanced Medium Range Air-to-Air -air Missile is not more advanced than the Meteor or AIM-120C. Algerian military analysts are saying that the Su-35 is 60% more expensive than the Su-30 MKA purchased by Algeria, but there is no AESA radar. Radar cannot meet the hard demand of Algeria's new fighter jets, and the unit price is about 100 million US dollars, which is not cheap. The Su-35 is slow to sell, which may be another good news for the Rafale and Typhoon fighters, which were once breathless under the strong market performance of the F-35 and only recently gained in the Middle East market. Another problem that is, the Russian old man and grandmother who worked so hard to manufacture Su-35 suffered from unsellable sales. Do we want to save them by bargaining? Thank you everyone for watching this video.